You want to start with any of them? Which one? What to chat about? What number? What number? What number? Give me a number. Why do we know we should use implicit differentiation on this? Because it has a trig function. Eh. Uh, because it wouldn't be very easy to isolate. <laughs> it's basically impossible to isolate y. There's no easy because way to do that. But true, but if it's like cosine y equals x, you want to isolate y, you can do that. Yeah. Right? Inverse cosine of x, yeah. right? So you don't have to. Okay, so what do we need to use on each of these? Well, the first one, what rule do we need to use? The derivative of the first times the second plus the first times the derivative, derivative of, the of the second, but that's going to be sine y, y prime plus 2 cosine 2y times y prime is equal to, and what do you have to use on the other side? Product rule. You also have to use the product rule. Product rule. That equals the derivative of the first times the second plus the first times the derivative of the, derivative second. Of the second. Now it's just a matter of what? Isolate. Y prime. I'm not going to do that, but that's what you need to do next. Yeah. You just have to be careful and use the product rule the appropriate number of times in the appropriate number of places. Any other? So this one was nice. It was clean because e the derivative of the x is e to the x. Nice. This t is a variable. So we're going to do this here. Y prime is going to be equal to 1 half of t ln t to the fourth to the what power? Negative 1 half. Times the derivative t of what? T ln t to the fourth. T ln of what? Ln t to the fourth to the fourth. So what are you going to have to use there? Product rule. Product rule. So you have the same thing right here. Times the derivative of the first times the second plus the first times the derivative of the second. What's the derivative of ln t to the fourth? One over t to the fourth times what? Four. Yeah. Yeah. Four t to the third. And does that simplify? Yep. You end up with one half t ln of t to the fourth to the negative one half times four ln t plus well what does this turn into t times what four over what the t cubed cancels with this leaving just a t so it's four over what t, t. does that cancel yeah so you end up with one half one half of four t so what do you end up with? Because you can bring this four and bring it to the front, right? Yep. Oh yeah, but it's not touch doesn't touch that two, yeah. So one half but you of you can take the other four. So you can four two, t can't you? ln hold on ln t to the negative one half times four ln t plus what? What's that turn plus into? Four. Plus four. And then you could factor out the four, absolutely. So you end up with two four t ln t to the negative one half times ln t plus one. So that's fine. You might also see it written out as two ln t plus one all over what? Um, ln Square root of four, four t, ln t. t ln t. And there's still one more thing you could do. This is the four that's sitting there. That turns into the square root of four on the outside. So it cancels. So you end up with ln t plus one over the square root of T L and T. So yeah, after a certain point it becomes algebra, but that's gonna happen. No, do Does not do. Like? You can look it up. This is a hyperbolic trig function. We're not covering those. You can look it up in three nine. Yay. We're not doing that. Okay, moving on. Any others? We have the points. All we need is the slope. So let's find f prime of x. What's that going to be? What rule are we going to use? Product. The derivative of the first times the second plus the first times the, derivative of the negative second. e to the x. e to the negative x is the derivative of the second. So we want f prime at what? Zero. Zero. So that's going to be 1 times e to the negative 0. Which is 1. Plus 2 plus 0, negative e to the negative 0. So what's that going to be? 1, one plus, plus two. 2 times negative 1. Which is? Negative one. So we end up with y minus two is equal to negative one times x minus. Stop there. You're done. Yes, you could simplify a little bit if you wanted to. Y minus two is equal to negative x. Sure. Or if you really want to, y is equal to negative x plus two. But you can stop here if you want. Yes, I sure can.
It's up here. Yep. D dx of e to the negative x is equal to e to the negative x times d dx of negative x, which is e to the negative x times negative 1. And that's where we get this from. Does that make sense? Yeah. Use the product. I, can, I would say of all the easy differentiation rules, the product rule is the one that's most uh, frequently, it's not doesn't happen that often, most frequently mangled. Some people just do the derivative of each part multiplied together. Is that correct? No, we, we know that. That was like the first example we did. The limit definitions for derivatives of a function at a certain value. So let's look at 100 here. What value are you, this one right here, it's f prime at what value? One. You know it's f prime at 1, right? So this is going to be f of x plus h minus f of x over h x minus uh, what? Uh, h. Shouldn't it be h minus x? Can it just be h? Thank you. Yeah. But this would be the limit as h goes to 1. one. Zero. Right. This right here is the limit as h goes to 0, right? So we need to be able to write this properly, and I think I'm doing a poor job of setting this up for you. So in this case, in this case, what does f of a equal? Looking at the first function, what does f of a correspond to here? 1. What does f of x correspond to? x to the 7th, right? 17th, right? So in this case, we're looking at f of x is equal to x to the 17th, and you want f prime at 1. What's the derivative? 17x to the 16th. That's f, of, f prime of x, so what's f prime of 1? 17, 1 to the 16th is? 17. So did we have to do that limit? No, we recognize that as the limit expression of, a, of a, the derivative of a function at a certain point. So on this one right here, you see this one right here? Which definition does that fit, the first one or the second one? Second. The first. It has an h on the bottom, right? The limit as h goes to 0, correct? So in this case, what does... Got it. It's the limit as... A, Right here, h goes to zero. See, yep. right there. Got the one with h. Yeah, let's yes. Just see, let's just try to see if we can pick out the parts and. Exactly. Can mean, you identify it? Yes, absolutely. So in, in this case, what's the function? The fourth root. This is f of x equals the fourth root of of x. And what are we doing? We're doing f prime at what? Sixteen. Because what is the six? What is the fourth root of sixteen? Two. It matches, right? What about this one right here? It's pretty straightforward. What's f of x going to be? Cosine. Cosine theta, right? And we're doing f prime of what? Three. Pi over three. 3. What is cosine of pi over 3? 1 half. 1 half. Uh, that's cosine of pi over 4. Cosine of pi over 3 is 1 half. So does that fit? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what they want you to do here is not evaluate the limits. They want you to recognize these as derivatives at a certain value. And then if you translate them to, oh, look, is it a lot easier dealing with the derivative of that than dealing with that? Yeah. How do you, just after the top, how do you, by the way, if I said do this without using, turning it into an, a derivative expression, what would you need to do in order to solve 100? Factor the numerator. It's not impossible. You have to take out x minus 1 from that. Is it possible? Absolutely. But it's just really big at the end, right? And what does it end up collapsing to anyway? 17. All these terms are going to go away when you plug in 1 for them. How do you do that, by the way? If you needed to factor, if your life depended on it, how do you factor this? Um, you know, you do what? Say it, yeah? I'm sensing you're going to say it. Yeah? Synthetic division. Yeah, she had it. Synthetic So ready? What number do we run through it, though? Uh, one. One, because we know that's a zero, right? And what are the coefficients? <laughs> uh, 17. One, zero, 16, zero, 15, zero, 14, zero, 13, zero, 13 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, <laughs> 6, 4. 5, 4, 3, 2, negative 1, one. and negative 1, right? <laughs> so look, what do we do here? Ready? 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1
Nope, we're taking out one, so it's to the 16th. 16th. It's going to be 16th, 15th, 14th. Yeah, plus one, exactly. So when you plug in one into that, what do you get? 17. So that's how you would do it. Life depends on it. Synthetic division, hopefully, is available to you. Two. A law of motion, great, S, nice, nice, where at T is measured in seconds and S in meters. Find the acceleration. So how do you find the acceleration after three seconds? What do you have to find first? The derivative, the derivative of, the, of the position function. So we know that acceleration of T is the same thing as V prime of T, which is the same thing as S double prime of T, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. S prime of T is going to be 3T squared minus 24T plus... 36. And what's S double prime of T going to be? Um, 6T minus 24. 24. So S double prime of 3 is going to be 18 minus 24, which is negative 6. And what's the units on this? Um, Meters per second squared. second squared. Nice. Okay, so that's A. B says graph the position velocity and acceleration graphs for T between 0 and 8. So we have we have those two functions right there, right? So yeah. someone can read it to me. I'm going to. Uh, is that a lot better? Yeah. Yeah, this thing is going to go down. Oh, this is a lot better. So we went down. A, it looks like maybe a little too far, maybe. Oh, actually perfect, right? Because we know it's negative 24 down. It's pretty low down there, right? So maybe let's change. What should we change? The y max to 40. Let's see what it looks like now. Nice. So that right there is the position function because it's a cubic. This right here is which one? Velocity and the acceleration. acceleration. So let's take this out here. Nice. OK, so we have this. So we graph them all. Right, nice. Nice. When is the particle speeding up? When is it slowing down? A particle is speeding up when? Do you remember this? Uh, acceleration and velocity are the same. Nope. Same, it's same what? Uh, direction. When, when speed. So when the magnitude of v of t has, sorry, that is the speed. So yeah, that's right. When the, I'm doing too much at the same time, sorry. When the speed, when the velocity and what? And that means, what does it mean in the same direction? Have the same what? The same sign, right? So let's look as at this. As in negative or positive? Correct, as in positive or negative. Absolutely. They're exactly, they're working, speeding up when they're working for each other. So we know right here, let's just change this here. Let's go. So this right here is where the velocity is positive, right? There's the velocity positive. Where is the acceleration positive? Acceleration positive right here. Let me label that in right here. So this is acceleration right here, and this is velocity, and this is position, right? So what do we really need to find here? We need to find out when they're both positive, right? So positive from this x value onward, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's speeding up here. Both positive, but we also need to look at where they are both what? Negative. Both negative. They're both positive, right? Let's use some more colors here. Blue here. Here's where this is negative, right? And let's go to draw yellow. Here's where it's negative. negative. So where are they both negative? From here to there. to there. They are also speeding. Don't move up because they are both negative. Does that make sense, everybody, yep. based on that function? OK, so you could finish this right here. Your homework is just to study.